All right, everyone, this is Vancouver. I'm Jeff from jeffmobile.com. I'm with my friend here, and we're going to walk um, to a sushi restaurant. And this is uh, the west side of Vancouver, quite a nice neighborhood, and uh, today is a Saturday, and it's kind of the middle of October. Um, this area of Oak Street is going under a lot of change. There's a new building coming up on the right. Enjoy the old architecture while you can. Yeah, exactly. Because they're being replaced by crap like that over there. <laughs> so this one here on the right coming up, this is actually a concrete building that every suite is more than a million dollars in... Uh, They have, yeah, this is a more than a million dollars per suite. It's called the Chateau Laurier, and it's uh, really high end. So pretty soon you'll be able to come down here and see this luxurious residence that was marketed to very rich people. Um, and across the street, you have that. This used to be a gas station. I think it might have been. Yeah, and on the other side, Oak Animal Hospital, which is where we take our dog, um, and the Rackets and Runners store, which is a great store for running. You think that animal hospital is haunted? Is it haunted? I don't know. No, no, we take our dog there. Oh, it's okay. okay. Sorry, I heard wrong. I thought you were saying something wrong. Oh, yes. And there's still like a bank here with a parking lot. You don't see a lot of parking lots these days in Vancouver because it's just a waste of space. It's just a matter of time before the high rise is here. I think it's a good, good spot for a high rise. Maybe a low rise. Yeah. Hey, you know what's interesting about Vancouver? What? It's a place where, where, where you, can, you can see the full human nature of greed in action. Yeah. Full action. And coming up on the right is the Easter Seals House, which is a place where um, I think kids can stay if they have an uh, illness. Because the, right? the charity, yeah, the hospital is pretty close by, so like the children's hospital is just down like, the street. Uh, you can kind of look at these things. This is pretty cool. Is this kind of like that place? I think so. This is a Batman, um, Batman bear. Yeah. Fiberglass. It's pretty cool. And this is a Star Wars Darth Vader bear. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's Indiana Jones. Some eagles. Emily Carr Elementary on that side. Another classic looking early 50s or 1940s building. Uh huh. They do a good job with their gardening. They have a nice yep. little flowers. Actually, I have a friend who lives in this building. This one? Yeah, this one. Lots of businesses on the bottom. Oh look, gas station. You don't see very many gas stations anymore in Vancouver. I know. And the gas is 154.9. That's 154 cents per liter. It's over there, right? Yeah, it's over there. Yeah. placebo buttons. They're not connected to anything. Yes. I think in New York they're placebo buttons. Oh yeah. But in Vancouver they usually aren't. They're operated by timers there yeah. in New York. Also, I, I heard that, that, that the closed door button in, in elevators, they're placebo buttons too. I think so. Placebo button is a funny term. Yeah. strip malls anymore either. Yeah, maybe we can walk around the strip mall a little bit before we go into yeah. the restaurant because it's kind of like a 
in a few years this will be torn down and made into a big high rise as well I imagine yeah. so yeah. kind of nice to explore it right now while it's still here Probably, would probably be preserved, right? I think so, because yeah. it's owned by the, the city. Yeah. Elementary school is owned by the city, and there's still a lot of kids in this area. They still have full service on this side. Oh yeah. In some places, full service is actually mandatory. I think we're in Richmond, and is it Port Moody as well? Uh, no, nope, not in Port Moody. Maybe Maple Ridge? Uh, I'm not sure about Maple Ridge. You can see the pumpkins here. It's October. October coming up to Halloween. Yep. We're right at mid-October right now. So I have a shot of these pumpkins. They look yeah. pretty nice. Oh. See? Nice. This mall also has a post office, which gets very busy because around Christmas time, people send all their Amazon gift packages to that one little post office and it was designed before Amazon so there's not a lot of place to store the packages some people even send large appliances there which can be a problem for the the store owners if, someone, if somebody buys like a refrigerator and sends it to the post office yeah, yeah. well can't they use like uh, UPS or FedEx though? oh yeah but some people use Canada Post the dollar store. Okay, I, I, I shouldn't film in there, so I'll just walk down a sure. little ways. Sure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on a second. Maybe, maybe, maybe you might want to get a shot of the posters. Those are all shoplifters. Yes. So, these are all shoplifters. Um, if you see them, uh, give them a call. <laughs> okay. Their, their number is... Well, so. I, I can't see their number. Uh, just call the Vancouver police. And, yes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. There's Life Labs, a Lotto and Post Office, Wine Store, a Sushi Restaurant, and uh, Hair Salon, Singaporean Food. Insurance. Well, that concludes a little tour of one of the neighborhoods of Vancouver near Oak Street and King Edward. Hope you had a great day, and for more videos, please click the subscribe button below. And signing off from Vancouver, BC, Canada, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. Have a great one, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye for now.